question two. So, Wendy, she is at the fun fair. Okay, she's going to have a go um, at the hoopla game. So she's going to play a bit of hoopla, and she's going to play a bit. Have a go at the coconut shy. If you have no idea what the coconut shy is, here's the picture for you. All right, get yourself down to the uh, the nearest village fate and have a go at the coconut shy. It's almost impossible to win on. So these probabilities, I don't think, are particularly correct. However, let's have a look at the question. So, the probability that she wins a hoopla is 0.4. The probability that she wins on the coconut shy is 0.3. So that's like a 30% chance, 30% chance that she's going to win on the coconut shy, all right? I reckon that should probably be like 1% chance, but there we go. Maybe that's just my throwing skills. So, complete the probability tree diagram. We've already seen, it's been set up for us here. We've got this tree diagram with some probabilities on. So all we need to do really is um, think about this in terms of what is probability out of? You should know that probability is out of one. Okay, one is, a whole, is the whole probability. So if we're playing hoopla and you have a 0.4% chance of winning hoopla, this section here is the hoopla, then what is your chance of not winning hoopla? Well, it needs to add up to one. These branches always add up to one. So what's one take away 0.4? That's going to leave us with 0.6. We'll get a mark for that just by doing that. Moving on, we're looking at the coconut shy now. So this is like event two. We're playing the coconut shy after we've played the hoopla. It says that the probability that she wins on the coconut shy is 0.3. That was given to us. What's the probability that she doesn't win? Well, if 0.3 is the chance of winning, 0.7 makes 1, doesn't it? So that's the chance of not winning. And it's this is the bit that people find confusing. So you either play the coconut, so the hoopla, and you win, and then you go off to the coconut shy game, or you play the hoopla and you lose, and then you go off to the coconut shy game. You're still at the same point. You're still just about to play the coconut shy. So these two probabilities are the same as up here, because it's the same game. So we're just going to have 0.3 for a win, and 0.7 for a loss on the coconut shy. That will get us the two marks here, for filling that out. Part B says, work out the probability that Wendy wins at Hoopla, and also wins, so win-win, at the coconut shy. Well, let's start at the beginning. So we, went, we turn up at the fair, all right, we start here and we're going to win. We're going to win on the coconut shy. So this is this um, kind of chain of events. We're going to win on the coconut shy and then we're going to go on to win at so hoopla first, win at hoopla, then we win at the coconut shy. That's the only way to win and then win this path here. So we need the two probabilities on the branches. And when you're travelling through the diagram, the tree diagram, so you need to multiply them together. Okay, so it's like 40% chance of winning hoopla. Then we're saying, right, well, if we've got 40%, then we've got a 30% chance of winning coconut shy. So it's almost like you're doing 30% or 40%. You times those together, and that will give you the overall chance of winning both, one after the other. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 is going to be 0 0.3. One, two. All right, you see you've got four times three, which is the 12, and you've also got one decimal place there and one decimal place there, so make sure that you've got two in your answer. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, we'll move on to the next question.